What are you doing? Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? 
The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... If it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. Now the price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh. 
really do not like you. for a little longer. isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. What? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel get... well at all. You're a bully, sir. We don't understand you more in... Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offering? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest tick mountain man? 
Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, a regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that Take guy a bunch of... Huh? Oh, oh, and then we have our answer! <laughs> Stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. 
And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <sighs> well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. I think you should get out of here, ma'am.
make me shoot you dead. You's going to hell. Driscoll's!
get this on right, boy. Yep, yep. Let's get. Yep. Here. Okay, boy. Here you go. Just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? No need for threats. I ain't quarrels. Keep right going! Down you
university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Is Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Yeah! You. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long old one. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> Shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee-deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. 
I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. <laughs> Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Very folks alive. One time, I... Hey, I get it, all right? You're mean. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girlie. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. You get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mask. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book. You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! No. No. No! You didn't know! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
It's all good. Calm down. Go you on, ain't supposed to be here. Get lost. I knew you were too scared. That's close enough now. I don't remember in I didn't you would share my camp. Just get out of here, damn it. Hey, you stop that. I ain't playing. I'll shoot you. Ah, damn it. Let's go. Yeah.
don't understand this at all. Hey, over here! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. Wait, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country. Reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Well, well good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Well, ten dollars and it's yours. Well, I'm interested in the map, but not so interested in the haggle. Why don't you just hand it over instead? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> you're funny. Listen, give me the map. I'm done asking. Oh, oh my. Here, take it. Just let me be. No voy a morir por este mapa estúpido.
You okay, boy? Oh. Hey, boy. Oh. I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. <laughs>
Let's get this on you, boy.
Thank <laughs> you. 